I have a small garage and it's filling up with a bunch of stuff. We also need to park my wife's car in here and I need to store my kayaks. So I wanna show you the best way to store your kayaks if you have a small garage like I do. What is going on and welcome back to the Kobiak Fishing Channel. I've been storing this kayak for about five years or so from the ceiling of my garage and because I just got a brand new one what we're going to do today is show you exactly how I got it up there if you've got a short garage you want to be able to get your I'm drooling on the camera you want to be able to get your kayak up on the ceiling and snug it up real close so that way the garage door can still open so we're going to be using this this pulley system that I got from Amazon, you can find the link down in the description below, and then all the other hardware I found from the local hardware store. And I, I'm about to drool all over the camera. Let's get into it. So here are the tools and most of the hardware we are going to be using. We have our kayak pulley hoist system, four eye screws for ratchet straps, three lag screws to secure the 2x4 mounting board to the ceiling, ratchet straps, carabiners we are going to trade out later, a 2x4 that will hold the pulley system, stud finder, pencil, power drill and drilling kit to pre-drill holes and other stuff, an impact driver for the lag screws, and a socket wrench. The first thing we are going to do is position everything and get a general idea of where the kayak is going to go on the ceiling. We've also laid out the mounting board, which is where the pulley will attach since we don't have exposed ceiling joists as well as our tape measure to make sure of a proper fit. I used the stud finder to find the mounting points for the lag screws on the ceiling. Don't worry, it works. And then I marked the locations on the mounting board of where the ceiling studs would be located, as well as a designated location for the pulley assemblies. Then we opened our kayak pulley system and removed the straps, rope, pulley hooks, screws and bolts, rear pulley, front pulley would break, and the instructions that we trashed. Just kidding. The instructions were great. They clearly showed you how to assemble the pulley system and different options on how to mount it to your ceiling. I then assembled and attached the pulley system to the mounting board on the ground first because I learned my lesson from last time. I also removed the really long hooks from the lower pulleys and replaced them with these eye bolts. I'll show you why I did that in just a second. I pre-drilled and added three lag screws and washers to the mounting board. And I added a couple of drywall screws so that way when my wife helped me raise the whole assembly to the ceiling, I could quickly attach it to the ceiling so she didn't have to hold it up with this little thingy right here I made for while I lagged the big screws in. Now it's time for the four eye bolts, which will be used as attachment points for the ratchet straps. They were really tough to get in, which was good. Once all four were screwed into the ceiling studs, I hooked the ratchet straps to the eye hooks. To lift my old kayak, I used a set of two scuppers at each end of the kayak. However, on my new kayak, it only has three scuppers and they run down the middle, so I had to make a few modifications. I'm going to use the daisy chain straps that came in the box and these carabiners and quick links from the hardware store to replace the hooks that I removed earlier. I looped the straps around the kayak, clipped the carabiners through the strap loops, attached the carabiners to the links, which were looped through the eye bolt on the pulley. The whole purpose of this modification is to allow for the kayak to be as close to the ceiling as possible after being hoisted up by the pulleys. I added this cinching rope to each of the lower pulley connectors which will allow me to bring the straps just a little bit closer together. If done right, you should see a perfectly squared shape that your pulley ropes make down to the straps of your kayak. Once you have hoisted the kayak up to the ceiling, the brake locks the rope in place, preventing the kayak from falling. However, the kayak is still below the garage door, so that is where the ratchet straps come in. These straps will allow for the kayak to fit closer and snugger. Is snugger a word? More snug? Snuggly? Anyway, the kayak is going to be super close to the ceiling, which is what we're going for. And, as an added bonus, it is way safer. These straps are more secure than that rope, which I will probably replace in the future. And it gives me more confidence and comfort knowing I won't wake up in the middle of the night with the sound of my kayak going through my wife's sunroof. And as you can see, the garage door doesn't hit the kayaks and we have plenty of clearance. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked the video, give the old thumbs up. And hey, if you can think of something that you would have done different, make sure you let me know down in the comments below and I'll consider like changing up some stuff. I wanna have the best optimal system holding up the kayaks.
If you would like to support me and the channel, make sure you click right here. I have a little fundraiser that I'm doing to hopefully get a new GoPro. And if you would like to enjoy another video, make sure you click on the screen right here and uh, keep this gravy train rolling. And until next time, keep those lines tight.